Al-Muhaddith al-Nuri tells the story. He says that there was a Christian man who befriended the chief of a Shia tribe who lived near the marshlands in the south of Iraq in Basra. They became very close. There is some backstory which I don't want to get into, but they became very good friends. He says one day this chief of the tribe said to his Christian friend, he says, that I'm going on a trip and I'll see you after I return. He said, where are you going? He said, I'm going on a pilgrimage. These are the days of Arba'een and I'm going to Karbala to visit Imam al -Husti. So the, this Christian friend of his says, well, why don't you take me with you? He said, look, this trip isn't for you. This is for us Shia. And we share the grief of the Prophet we send our condolences to Fatima to Zahra. I mean, these are things that you're not familiar with. So maybe you could stay here, we'll go, and then we'll come back. He said, no, if you're going, I must come with you. He said, sure. So they take this young Christian man along with them. When they go to Karbala, they tell him, listen, you're a Christian, and there are some rules about who can enter the shrine of Imam Hussein. So perhaps you can stay out outside of the shrine, look after our luggage, while we go and do the visitation and the ziyarah, and we'll come back for you. So the man stays there. When they come back out of the shrine of Imam Hussein, they see this man looking like he had just seen a ghost. And he was crying. He said, what's wrong with you? He said, listen, just tell me what I must do to go into that shrine and visit the one who was buried there. Just tell me what, I, what I'm supposed to do. They said, why, what happened? He said, when you were gone, I fell asleep. And in my dream, I saw this beautiful man. And I learned from other factors that it was Imam al Hussein himself. He came with two others with him. One of them was called Abbas, and the other was called Ali ibn al Akbar. They both held these big scrolls, big books. And they were writing the names of the visitors and the zuwar of Abu Abdullah Hussein. So the Imam told both Abbas and Ali al Akbar, Are you sure you have all of the names recorded? They said, Yes, Ya Abu Abdullah, we've recorded all the names. So Hussein told them to go back because there are names missing from the list. They went for a while and then they came back and said, Ya Aba Abdullah, we've recorded all the names, including all of the children, including all of the unborn fetuses in their mother's wombs, including all the people that are still walking towards Karbala, but haven't yet made it to the holy city. We've recorded every name out there. The Imam said, there must be someone else. So Abbas said, Ya Aba Abdullah, there is this Christian man who's outside your shrine. We didn't write his name. So the Imam said to him, Awama qad nazala bisahatina. Is he not our guest now? Is he not sitting in our backyard? Make sure you record his name as well. So they recorded my name. And now all I want you to do is to tell me how I can go into the shrine of this man and pay my respects and visit him. Brothers and sisters, Imam al Hussein is here to save us. This ship is going to be around for the next 10 days and then 10 nights. This ark is the ark of salvation, brothers and sisters. Imam al Hussein is so sublime. He is so lofty. His position is so high. So much so that four miles by four miles with the center being the grave of Aba Abdullah al Hussein, That dust that you collect from this city is so sacred, it is so holy, that God says you should put that on your forehead, then say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la wa bihamdih. When you pray on the muhr of Hussein, when you pray on the dirt that is collected, from that four mile by four mile radius in Karbala, 
the hadith says تَخْرُقُ الْحُجُبَ السَّبْعَ the seven veils that that separate us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are torn because your head is now resting on that dirt on Turbatul Hussein, on Teenul Hussein. That is how lofty and sublime Aba Abdullah Hussein is. Mm -hmm.